Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and today I'm talking about thrifty ways to organize your kitchen or kitchen storage areas. So think pantry, hutch, cabinets, as well as things to be looking out for when you're thrifting. Some practical things you can be looking out for. Um, so let's get started. to organize things, trying to make sure everything has a place, and trying to just get a great grasp on where all the things in our home are. As homemakers, this is a lovely opportunity for us to just go about our homes and think of ways that we can provide a space that is going to bless others. And in doing so, also it can bless us by being functional and practical not filled with clutter, not filled with things that don't serve any sort of purpose. And this is something I specifically have to be mindful of because the space in our homes and the storage areas in our homes are so small. So I have to use this china hutch to store actual things that I'm using every day in our kitchen, or at least on a weekly basis. We have very little storage. And so I'm gonna just show you what I have in my hutch. I have already organized it just for the speed of this video, but I thought as I show you just some of the ways that I organized it, that I can also talk through things that you would be looking out for as you're thrifting. So my goal in going through my home and organizing my home is that I don't want to spend money if I don't have to. Now, if there is something that I need, then possibly um, going out and getting it then but I want to shop my home, move things around, use the baskets I already have, or intentionally seek out maybe some thrift stores for some specific baskets that I'm trying to look for. Everything looks way sweeter in a basket. And so in my China Hutch, you'll see I have a few different baskets and each basket serves as its own purpose or just cor it corrals certain things that loose, look maybe a little out of order or um, frankly, just not pretty. And so that is my first tip. When you're out thrifting, be mindful of baskets. And previous videos, i pretty sure in all of them, I share just baskets. Baskets can be used for a number of things, especially in your organization. Think squared baskets if you can. Um, I have a really tough time, tough time finding squared baskets that if you find some, snag them up and you can use them for a number of number of things and they fill in those corner areas. Whereas a round basket uses up your real estate area. Think different sizes and different shapes and for different things. So I thrifted this big compartment basket and in it I just placed our silverware so that I could free up a drawer on uh, in my kitchen for my knives and some different sorts of utensils that I didn't want out on the counter. And then I have what I would call like a bread basket. And in there, I love just putting things for the kitchen. So any baked goods, first off, it makes the table look lovely. And then it corrals breads and pastries. And then when it's not being used, it holds my bowls that are not in use. And then um, this basket right here, it just holds all of our poetry tea time things and it has it all together. So when I am looking to give that job to my five-year-old, I can just hand her the basket. She can set things out. She can fill things up as needed. And that's kind of just her responsibility now. It ensures that tea time always gets done, but it doesn't always just fall straight to me. When you're out in the thrift stores, you can always find napkins and tablecloths at an excellent price. And so all of these napkins I've thrifted, and then we just store them there. So when we're setting the table for dinner, the girls can just grab a few place them out on the table or grab the bowl and then place it on the table. Again, just another pretty um, way to display your um, 
linens. So I also wanna discuss frames and artwork. Another way to go about and make things look pretty in your kitchen is just by displaying some art. So thrifting frames is another thing that is very easy to be on the lookout when you're out thrifting. This specific image was is a card that a friend gave me for my birthday and I loved the image and so I just added it to a thrifted frame I already had and then I added it for some height in the back because you can see on this third row everything is basically at the same level so by adding this it kind of just adds a little bit of height and a little difference in the china camera and so you can't really see it because the way i have the camera right now but from all the other angles of the home you can see it pretty well it actually could probably go a little higher um, the next thing to be on the lookout while you're at thrift stores is uh, cookbooks. So I have a few in here specifically. I've thrifted this cookbook um, and I have some more that I actually use all the time closer to me in the kitchen just because those uh, are readily available for me to grab. This one I don't use some too much, but it is just a compilation of all the air, all of the genres of foods that you would be cooking in your kitchen. And so if you see this, it's just a quick, it's just a good simple one to grab. And it provides a lot of recipes that are just not the norm. Um, I feel like an easy way to go about. So for example, frying fish, it just gives like five ingredients, a quick recipe, that of course then you can add in your different spices and things, but it just covers recipes in the most minimalist way. And it's not the healthiest way to go about it, but if you know how to um, make substitutions, then using this cookbook and then having those substitutions readily available in your back pocket can then allow you to just make them a little bit healthier. So be on the lookout for cookbooks. Cookbooks are also another cute thing to display about the kitchen as a means of decor. So not only are you using them, but then they add a second bonus as decor. I would keep a lookout for candles, candlesticks, votives, vases, any sort of crafts or pictures that you then can use to just display a beautiful tablescape. So setting out candles, setting out a beautiful glass pitcher, grabbing a pretty pitcher that you can fill with some mint and some lime and some cucumbers, and then just having it sitting out will instantly dress up your table. Or having just a pretty glass bottle where you add some water or sparkling water and have it sitting out for your guests or for your family um instantly again adds beauty to your tablescape the next thing i would be on the lookout for plates like if you're going about hold on if you're going about organizing your home and you recognize that there is a gap that needs to be filled in your flatware or in um, your plate setting keep a lookout at thrift stores you can find china very inexpensively as well as bowls and plates. And so I wanted a set of white bowls and I found them for 90 cents for a set of four. And one has a chip, but honestly, we would have put the chip in there ourselves within a week. So that is another thing to just be mindful of. And as you're going through an inventory, I have talked about just keeping a notebook readily available where you jot down all of your thoughts and needs and wants and then always keeping it with you. So you have just your list ready to go if you want rather do it on your phone. And then another thing to be on the lookout is serving ware. So any nice, nice big plates that you're looking to use for serving, big bowls. Um, I actually, my mother-in-law found this beautiful old, this beautiful old bowl at a thrift store, um, actually at a garage sale, but again, you don't have to just go to thrift stores, you can check out garage sales where you can find really great things. I also want to encourage you, like as you're going about, this is a beautiful job that we get to do as mothers. We get to 
provide a tablescape to bless our families. When our husband comes home, just provide a beautiful meal that not only tastes well, but looks lovely as well. And then also I wanna talk about why does organization matter? We want to always be trying to provide a home that brings freedom and joy to those around us. And so I, for example, have really had to step up in the area of organization. Organization does not come easy for me. So it's been something I've had to really pray about and ask the Lord to come alongside me and help build me in this area. That being said, he has, and there's still so much more to grow. And so just surrounding yourself with God's word and even books on hospitality, some excellent podcasts um, like What Have You and Thankful Homemaker, these women are constantly pouring in edifying me in a way that is very rare. Rarely do I get this sort of edification. Um, and so it is awesome to be tested and to be stretched by um, God's word in these areas. It's And listening to some of these women who are much wiser than me really makes me reevaluate how am I serving my family with the way that I am organizing my home and the way that I'm cooking for my family and the way I'm spending my money as a steward God calls me to be wise with it and so how am I stewarding my money to provide the things that I need but wisely and not just running out and getting the first set of gorgeous um, wicker baskets but rather is there some baskets in my home that I could use or can I be mindful of the need and as I'm out thrifting about it that way. It sometimes takes more work being frugal, but that is not a bad thing. Hard does not equal not good. Sometimes the harder thing is the wisest thing to do and is going to be of more value to you and your family. And so um, just be mindful of ways that you can be a bit wiser in bringing organization to your home. And then also, as I was cleaning out my china cabinet, just really being mindful, like, do I need this? And in what way is this serving my family? Does this serve my family? And if not, there's really no sense in keeping it, getting rid of it, and um, being trying to think through what then, does, what then could I bring into my home that would be a blessing and would serve my family. I hope this was helpful. I hope you were encouraged. I would love it if you subscribed.